Right! There are plenty of ways to grab attention and keep it there, from catchy openings to shock value sequences to fan service. Yet, I always personally am drawn to anime that involve witty, well-directed dialogue that is so involved that it drives the show forward. Some examples that come to mind are Origairu, Bunny Girl Senpai, Bake Monogatari, Otakoi, or Steins Gate. Each of these shows, whether in general or in specific relationship interactions, showcase a level of sharp wit and, to put it with less tact, a more accurate portrayal of what an actual conversation looks like. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian could be, at first glance, written off as another fanservice-y, harem-trope-filled, art-over-substance romance anime. And don't get me wrong, it definitely has that. But to look beyond that, there is a real and dynamic body of relationships in this anime that are defined, in my opinion, by the way the dialogue varies. The male protagonist Kuze showcases different levels of familiarity both consciously and unconsciously in the way he speaks. With Alia, he is fairly familiar, especially with the use of her nickname Alia, and yet he still speaks with relatively polite speech, or Keigo with her. With Yuki Suo, he speaks with overt formality at school, despite her supposedly being his childhood friend. But within their real relation as brother and sister, they are completely informal and free with each other. It isn't just in the case of the heroines either. More so than most anime, I think, this one demonstrates the way in which the Japanese people put effort and value into the way people address each other. In a show as dialogue intense as this one, it has been impressive to me how understandable the shifts in the language have been, which is a testament to both the voice actors and the localization team. Listening to the characters banter has been my favorite part of the show so far, and I hope this video helps y'all enjoy a different facet of the show as well. You can catch Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian on Crunchyroll, and you can catch me next week with another video. Drop a like and a subscribe if you want to hear more non-witty dialogue from me. I'm Papadopoulos, and I'll see y'all next week.